Welcome. Hi, my name is Ralph Falkingham. I'm a member of this church, and I'm a fill-in for Dick Madison, our Minister of Music at First Church, and also the uh, uh, Managing Director of our Music on Main Concert Series. Dick has a bad cold and decided not to give it to us. So he's at home, and we want him to rest up so that he can come back next Sunday and lead the choir and, and do lessons and carols. And you're all welcome to come back next Sunday morning at 10 to join us. We're so glad you're here tonight to uh, hear the holiday brass and sing some Christmas carols. And uh, without any further ado, I'm going to introduce Sheldon Ross, who is the coordinator of uh, Valley Brass. Sheldon? Thanks so much, Greg. Thank you so much, and uh, thank you all for being here. We're very excited uh, to present the 30th annual Holiday Brass and Carol Sane concert to the community here at First Congregational Church. And so it's a very special night uh, just to come together to hear this awesome music, but also to honor and celebrate 30 years of a, of a tradition in Amherst. Um, so I wrote some thank yous in the program, but I'd like to say a few out loud. And so first of all, I want to thank the members of this year's uh, 30th anniversary Holiday Brass Choir for their contribution of their time and their talent, along with our conductor. Um, I want to appreciate that right from the start, from what they've given to make this possible. So thank you to the band. Uh, I'd like to thank the church for hosting us for all these years. And uh, to Dick Madison, sorry that he's not with us. We will really miss his presence as well as his organ playing, but we're just going to have to, we're going to sing uh, those carols of uh, knowing he is here in this hall uh, because this is where he is Minister of Music. Um, we also want to uh, acknowledge that we're uh, inviting you to make a donation for tonight's concert to benefit those who uh, receive services from the Amherst Survival Center. And um, in a minute, I'm going to invite uh, Lynn to come up and say a few words about the Survival Center. Um, yeah, I'm going to also say I'm thanking uh, a couple of sponsors for this program, that is Big Y and Henion Bakery here in Amherst. They've given contributions for many years, and we appreciate their support. Um, yeah, let, me, let me welcome Lynn Reesmer. She is with the Amherst Survival Center, and she's going to share a little bit about who they are and what they offer. First of all, thank you so much for being here tonight and offering your lovely music on behalf of the Elmer Survival Center. And thanks to this congregation. This is just a lovely event. I've now been here, I think, about four or five years. And I know many of you in different capacities in town. But I am here tonight as a board member of the Amherst Survival Center and immediate past president. And so let me just say, we provide food, clothing, health care, and community to over 6,000 people in this area who come to the center daily, or four days a week. They come for breakfast, they stay for lunch, and one night a week we offer dinner. They can get free health care. So a woman shows up with three children, all of whom need sports exams, to participate in a baseball clinic. Well, do you know how much three sports exams cost? So they get those sports exams, but they get them for free. They walk into their, our community store, which is free. One of our most beautiful stories is a homeless man last year was getting ready to go to a family reunion. And he walked into the camp, to the community store, and they dressed him with an outfit for every day. And he came back with gorgeous pictures of being with his family. That's the kind of thing we do. We do this with 263 volunteers a week. They do everything from cook, to drive trucks, to pick up food locally, at various food stores, in bakery, etc. And so we ask you tonight to think about that and give generously 
And certainly, come and join us for lunch sometime, sign up to be a volunteer, or in any way you can help. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, Glenn. Um, so, our concert will be approximately 80 to 90 minutes, I believe. There's no intermission. But you'll have a chance to stretch your legs. Hopefully, if you're willing and able or moved to do so, you could stand for carols uh, to move around. And um, please silence any devices for our concert. We'd appreciate that. And without further ado, oh, there are some snacks in the parlor room that will probably be still there at the end of the concert. You're welcome to grab a little snack on the way out if you want. Um, they are now open to you after the band has picked through some of them. <laughs> you're, you're in, you're, we welcome you to have a snack if you'd like as well. Um, and without further ado, I'd like to introduce our guest conductor tonight, returning after several years leading us. We're thrilled to have uh, Matt Westing back again to, um, to lead us. And I'm with the show. Yeah, but I, you know, I was going to introduce Ron. I thought, I thought about it, I forgot one thing. So before we start to play, the senior program, we have something called Ron's Set, <clears throat> the first collection of songs. And for those of you who don't know, um, <coughs> the history of our concert is that uh, Ron Bell, who is a beloved trumpeter and um, educator and education administrator here in town, started this concert uh, 35 years ago and directed it for a very long time. Uh, and uh, following a stroke, he was unable to do it for several years, and then we brought the tradition, tradition back and have been doing it, and this is now our 30th. So we, uh, to honor the 30th, we'd like to appreciate Ron, not only with the group of songs, but we have a small gift for him, and we invite you to uh, all, for us all, to appreciate Ron for his leadership in starting this tradition. So Ron is in the back, he's going to wave.
We have a carol sing. The first song we're going to sing together is Hark the Herald Angels Sing. No! <laughs> oh, come, all ye faithful! Oh, come. Oh, come, all ye faithful. This first, we have a little introduction, and I think you'll know when it's time to sing. We'll sing three verses. Stand if you feel able, and uh, sing proudly. As Buddy the Elf says, the best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. <laughs>
wandered as I wander is an Appalachian folk hymn. Uh, it comes from the early 1900s, 1933, in the town of Murphy in North Carolina. The composer, John Jacob, John Jacob Niles, attended a fundraising meeting, and there was, and there was an evangelical meeting there, and they were ordered out of town by the police. So I don't know exactly what that was about. But he wrote, hearing this song, uh, there was a girl that stepped out of this meeting and sang this tune. And he wrote it down. He said her, her clothes, this is from his autobiography, he said her clothes were dirty and ragged, and she was unwashed. She had ash blonde hair. She was beautiful in an untutored way. She, she could sing very well. She smiled as she sang, smiling rather sadly, and sang only a few simple lines of this song. The girl's name was Annie Morgan, apparently. And he repeated, he, he liked the tune, so he kept asking her to repeat it so he'd memorize it, and he gave her a quarter. And he left with this, he said he left with, quote, three lines of verse, a garland fragment of a melody, and a magnificent idea. So this young lady, this young girl sang the song, and he wrote it down in 1933, October 4th, and it was performed for the first time on December 19th, 1933, in North Carolina. So this is I Wonder As I Wander. It's going to feature our beautiful euphonium player and a beautiful trumpet solo. So this is I Wonder As I Wander.
Our next piece is a French carol, <coughs> Il est né.
So fans of this program might recognize the arranger of that piece, Deke Sporney. Deke Sporney, who is the um, jazz guru at UMass and is very uh, prominent member of our community. He's also playing trombone right up there. So, very, very talented arranger. So, also fans of this concert, people that have been here before know that our Sheldon, our, um, our trumpet extraordinaire on the end, writes, he picks a theme every year and to introduce the sections. So I'm going to turn this over to him and then each section is going to do a little feature so we get to know the, the members of the ensemble. So here's Sheldon. Thanks. So, um, uh, examples of other past year's themes have been things like groups of the three or harmony or dissonance or, um, yeah, Rhythm. Um, this year's theme is melody and accompany. So listen for that in all the different introductions that you hear. A melody and accompany. So we're going to start out with uh, the trumpets, who are the sopranos.
It's time for another carol. I hope you're all warmed up. The first Noel is next.
hard work, two in a row. So we have a little bit of a uh, little set change here. We're going to, our next piece features a, a quartet. So the front row is going to evacuate their seats and make room for the quartet. And they're going to perform for you the piece that's in your program that I can't remember the name of right now. Oh, Charlie Old St. Nicholas. How could I forget that? So we're going to turn it over to the quartet and we're going to play Jolly Old St. Nicholas for you, a little jazzy version.
intimate sounding music. So it's, this is a, a kind of a, a unique time of the year, and our concert today, I think, kind of tries to show both of those. Some of it's a little silly, and some of it's very, very heartfelt. Um, so our next piece is O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, really, really beautiful arrangement.
our small group that's going to play this next piece. This is a tent tent. So the front two rows are going to evacuate their chairs again. We're going to make room for some people to come to the front. This is a relatively new arrangement for the, the valley grass. Three ships, three kings. I think you'll enjoy this. Just give us a second to reshuffle. To share, I have to share one funny thing. So these are, a lot of these arrangements are written specifically for this group. The name of this piece says three ships, three kings, and then in parentheses it says three minutes, ten brats. <laughs> I love when composers do that. Trombone player. Thank you. 
is this is my one of my daughter's favorites, the Twelve Days of Christmas. You can see yellow five gold rings. <laughs> but do you know all of the days of Christmas? Do you know all of them? Is it? It's not in your program, correct? Great. So this could be a real quiz. <laughs> so the first day of Christmas is everybody knows this one. Partridge in a pear tree, and then we have two, three, four, and then five. Great, so we have five rings and lots of birds so far. Okay, there's a lot of fowls in this song. Okay, what's number six? Six geese a laying, more birds. Seven swans, more birds. Eight is the first non-bird. Maids a milking. Yes, so we go to the cows now, okay? <laughs> then number nine, ladies dancing. Ten, Lord's leaving. Eleven, uh, you think it's the drummers, but the drummers, they're the last ones. Pipers piping, twelve drummers drumming. Okay, so let's review. <laughs> so remember, they're all birds until eight. Okay, so we have a partridge in a pear tree. Two is three, four, four column birds, five. When we get to that part, you can really sing that part. Okay, and then six geese, seven swans are swimming. Okay, remember we go to the cows now. Eight maids are milking. Nine ladies dancing. Ten lords are leaping. Eleven. Right, the drummers are last, right? Sorry. <laughs> twelve drummers drumming is last. Okay, so you're all prepped. This is our version of Twelve Days of Christmas.
song, White Christmas by Irving Berlin. Still the best selling single of all time, thank heavens. Uh, I, I don't even know the number, but the last time I checked, it was over 100 million copies. 150 million copies, excuse me. There's lots of different stories about how this song was composed. One story is that he wrote it in 1940 in La Quinta, California. He was staying at La Quinta Hotel. He stayed up all night writing the song, and he told his secretary in the morning, grab your pen and take down this song. I just wrote the best song I've ever written. Heck, I just wrote the best song that anybody's ever written. The first public performance of White Christmas was by good old Bing Crosby on the NBC radio show, The Craft Music Hall, Christmas Day, 1941. He recorded it then later with the John Scott Tyler Trotter Orchestra and the Ken Darby Singers for Decca Records on May 29th, 1942, so in the middle of spring. Guess how long it took him to lay it down? 18 minutes. That piece that we all know was recorded in 18 minutes. It was then part of a musical film, Holiday Inn, and this was the song that all of the commercial people realized, we can make a lot of money on Christmas music. <laughs> so our arrangement is really, really beautiful, and you're gonna love this. This is written by Dave Sparney, the trombonist, um, and you just gonna really like this arrangement. This is White Christmas.
Uh, it's a very popular concert. That's at the United Station Grand Ballroom tomorrow night in Northampton. If you're looking for more jazzy music. Uh, this next piece we're going to play is by Leroy Anderson, the, uh, the gentleman I mentioned earlier from Massachusetts. And he had this idea for this piece during the, a heat wave in July of 1946. So imagine it's 95 degrees in western, eastern Massachusetts, sweltering hot, and he decides to write Slay Ride. So it was originally an instrumental piece, and they wrote the lyrics later. The orchestral version that we all hear on the radio was recorded in 1949 by Arthur Fiedler and the Boston Pops. And another thing about this piece you might not know, even though it's associated with Christmas, uh, it's written, it never mentions Christmas. It was actually, uh, a lot of people think this was written for Thanksgiving. But it's, if, you, if you think about the lyrics, there are, it never mentions Christmas at all. So uh, this is one, also one of my favorites. This is our version of Slow Ride.
right? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 years, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 years.
Christmas, everybody. Thank you, everybody.